Ground Zero. That's where I lived during the September 11th World Trade Center attack. I filmed in horror from my rooftop as I watched dozens of people jump from the Twin Towers to their deaths. And then watched as both of the towers collapsed to the ground. I was among the hundreds of people who ran from the debris cloud, and when the dust finally settled, all I could think about were the little kids whose mommies and daddies were killed in the terrorist attack, and how they were going to be faced with the unthinkable, being told that mommy or daddy is dead. Over the next 10 days, I met with two families. Their loved ones were among the thousands of missing people pictured on the flyers posted throughout the city. One family was Christian. A little boy had lost his mother. The other family was Muslim. Three children would never see their father again. You, my child, are not alone. So many others. The grandmother of the Christian family felt all Muslims were responsible for the death of her daughter and wanted them to now be tortured. Men, women, and children. She never expected that her grandson, Nicholas, would become friends with the Muslim boy whose father was killed in the attack. On September 11, 2001, our lives were changed forever. How would Nicholas's father tell him that mommy is not coming home? This September 11th marks the 10-year anniversary of the World Trade Center attack. Camelot Theatres will be hosting a special presentation of Telling Nicholas on Sunday, September 11th at 1 p.m. and 6 p.m., followed by a Q&A with the director. All proceeds will go to Variety, the children's charity of the desert. See the box office for details or visit www.tellingnicholas.com.